So what we're going to do next is we're going to use this espresso machine to make an espresso beverage using espresso coffee. Uh, the beverage that we're going to make is going to be a latte, okay. which is going to be uh, steamed milk and uh, a shot of espresso. Uh, we could also make a cappuccino or a mocha, uh, a macchiato, uh, but today we'll make a latte. And so first off, what we're going to do is we're going to steam some milk. And uh, you can see in here, I've actually put only enough milk to maybe fill about an inch of the pitcher. Right. Uh, although I'm going to make a pretty good sized beverage, uh, I know that I want to use a little less milk because part of what I would like to do here is to create a lot of foam by aerating the milk. And so uh, in order to do that, I need to leave myself some space or I'll have a colossal mess on my hands. Right. The machine has a steam wand uh, right here on the side. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'll show you that it's going to blow us some nice steam right here. It's just the steam. Only the wand would be hot. Yeah, you can put your hand right in there. Okay, not bad at all. And you can see how much steam pressure we're going to get from the machine. That steam right on the tip of the wand is what's going to aerate the milk. And what I'm going to try to do is as the level of the milk rises in the foam, I'm going to try to follow that level. So what you should be listening for is a hissing noise, uh, less than a gurgling noise or no noise at all. Uh, so I'll put that um, wand right into the milk, and then I'll um, get my steam started. This is a very powerful machine. So what I'm doing now is I'm watching on the thermometer to see the temperature rise. And I'm up about 100, a little over 120. Right at about 140, I'm going to stop, and I'm going to simply let that temperature come up to 160. 160. Common problems that people have with an espresso machine is that they forget that they just made a mess of their steam wand. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this rag and I'm also going to blow a little steam out of the end just so that I can make sure that my steam wand is clear of milk on the inside and also slightly cleaned off obviously on the outside. Now with my milk steamed, it'll hold temperature pretty nicely in that pitcher. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to create for us a couple of shots of espresso which we'll need in the beverage. So I'm going to get some espresso in my porta filter. And then I'm going to take my tamper and I'm going to simply press down and tamp that coffee into the portafilter. Now I can adjust the pressure that I put on it. Uh, I have tested this machine a little bit today, so I think that'll be good pressure to give us the right time in terms of how long we want the shot to be in the works before we have a finished shot. Uh, sometimes you may have been in stores where you've seen people really press down. That's really just a matter of the grind not being exactly right. right. But essentially we hope that this is uh, just the right amount of pressure so that as we put this machine on, when I press the button, steam will begin to pack against that area of coffee and we'll make a pressurized extraction of the coffee, if you will. So when I push the button, it's going to begin by pressing pushing water onto that coffee and you can see right away we're getting a really lovely stream of very concentrated very sweet coffee immediately you notice that we're beginning to develop a head and a body and a heart in there that is really the the um, the way that a shot would break down and if you take a look at this right now you can see how beautiful we've got a really clear separation of three parts to the shot that's a good sign. If we've started off with great coffee uh, and we've gotten to this spot, we know that we're pretty much on our way to making a great beverage. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take that shot of espresso. Since this will be a single, I'm going to put that shot right into my glass. And then I'm going to take my milk. And uh, in this case, because I'm making a latte, I'm going to put the milk in. And I'm going to fill it up just about to a half an inch from the top. And then very easily, I'm just going to turn my spoon and I'm going to slide some of that beautiful foam right onto the top. And you can see here that I have a perfect latte. Beautiful. Enjoy. Thank you.